the country. And fentanyl and other opioids are fueling the worst drug crisis in the history of the United States. This has been in the media. More than 1,500 U.S. citizens are dying every week from taking some type of opioid, making this drug by far the leading cause of fatal overdoses in the country. In recent years, the crisis has become defined by illicit fentanyl, an extremely lethal synthetic opioid. Let's see some material and we'll continue talking. Mass fentanyl in the U.S. is smuggled across the Mexico border, often transported in vehicles or by individuals carrying small uh, concealable amounts due to its high potency. The average weight of size fentanyl is 1.2 kilograms, which can contain over 50,000 little doses. By December 2023, at least 12,245 kilograms have been intercepted at the southern U.S. border that year. Overdoses involving synthetic opioids, particularly fentanyl, are the leading cause of death for the U.S. adults aged 18 to 45. In 2021, fatalities surged to 80,411, surpassing U.S. military deaths in post-9-11 conflicts. The COVID-19 pandemic intensified the opioid crisis, disrupting supply chains and pushing individuals toward unfamiliar drugs. Social distancing lead to more solitary drug use, increasing overdose risk. Additionally, the proliferation of illicit fentanyl often disguised as a legal prescription opioids by drug cartels has further worsened the situation. The opioid epidemic is significantly impacting the U.S. economy with estimates from the U.S. Congress Joint Economic Committee indicating it cost nearly $1.5 U.S. trillion in 2020, accounting for 7% of that year's GDP, an increase of about one-third since 2017. This cost is projected to rise with increasing fatal doses. Between 2008 and 2021, the U.S. provide Mexico with approximately $3.5 U.S. billion in security and counter narcotic aids, including military aircraft and surveillance softwares. President Joe Biden has prioritized the fentanyl crisis as both a domestic and foreign policy issue, despite rising overdose deaths during his administration. In late 2021, he declared synthetic opioid trafficking a national emergency and signed executive orders to sanction those involved in fentanyl production. By late 2023, the U.S. sanctioned 25 China-based entities linked to fentanyl precursor chemicals and added China to the list of major illicit drug products in and transit countries alongside 22 others, including Colombia, India and Mexico. And after this material, let's see and let's 